the dramatic move across the aisle. North Carolina Representative Tricia Cottom, representing the Mint Hill area now, is expected to switch parties from Democrat to Republican. The anticipated move would grant the GOP a supermajority. The Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis is covering this story from all angles tonight. Morgan, this is big news. Alicia, it really is. Throughout her political career, Trisha Cotham has been viewed as a swing vote. But, but, but if she does change party affiliation, it would prevent Governor Roy Cooper from unilaterally preventing bills from becoming law. Sitting on the Republican side of the aisle, North Carolina Representative Trisha Cotham all but confirmed her intention to switch parties from Democrat to Republican. The North Carolina Democratic Party calling it a betrayal and deceit of the highest order. Generally, things don't go this far without it being done. According to NC House Speaker Tim Moore, Wednesday morning GOP leaders and Cotham are holding a press conference for the major announcement. If the longtime Democrat from Mecklenburg County makes the switch, the power struggle would shift and North Carolina House Republicans would secure a supermajority. We all understand a majority is one more than half. A supermajority is three-fifths, which is what's required in order to override a governor's veto which is the real fundamental issue here. According to the NC Legislative Library, at the number of 76, Cooper has vetoed twice as many bills as all other North Carolina governors combined. I think it, it may lower the temperature of the water insofar as the governor has got to come to the table versus no and no and another no. Cooper sending a statement to Queen City News saying in part, this is a disappointing decision. Representative Cotham's votes on women's reproductive freedom, election laws, LGBTQ rights, and strong public schools will determine the direction of the state we love. It's hard to believe she would abandon these long-held principles. With a supermajority, the question is whether Republicans will capitalize on a veto-proof majority. The idea that the, that the Republicans are going to run roughshod over the rest of the, of the state I don't buy that. Weddington Mayor there, Craig Horn, is a former member of the North Carolina House and has worked alongside Cotham and touted her relationship with Cooper and representatives on both sides of the aisle. We're expecting Cotham to formally announce her intention tomorrow morning. Be sure to tune in to Queen City News now. Alicia.